President Obama. He's not coming back. <laughs> after, a year, after a year and a half of relative silence, the 44th president of the United States is back in the public eye. This week, he flew to Africa, where he opened a community center in Kenya and then visited the village where his dad grew up, yeah, and finally picked up a copy of his real birth certificate. <laughs> and surprise, he's actually from Norway. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. And then it was on to South Africa for what Obama thought was a celebration of the 100th birthday of Nelson Mandela. But actually, actually, it turned into a roast of his dance moves. There's one area where President Obama cannot match Madiba. <laughs> Unfortunately, he cannot dance as well as Madiba can dance. I feel like that's the same face he had on election night. It was just like... <laughs> you know, you know what's funny? It's funny how, in America, people credited Obama as a great dancer, right? Because he was the first U.S. president with rhythm, right? <laughs> but in Africa, all the presidents can dance. <laughs> so when Obama dances in Africa, people are like, eh, hey, Barack, your white side is showing, huh? <laughs> what's happening here? Because, look, Ob Obama's not a great dancer. He's a good dancer, but he's not a great dancer. And I know you might be saying, who are you to judge Obama's dance moves, Trevor? Well, I'll tell you who I am. <laughs> I'm the runner-up of the 2012 season of Dancing with the Stars South Africa. <laughs> That's right! That's right! <laughs> but Obama in South Africa used the occasion to give a speech on the state of the world. And of course, whenever Obama talks about current events these days, there's an elephant in the room, which is fine. I mean, he's a South African citizen, and he had every right to be there. But I actually meant the other elephant in the room, Donald Trump. While Obama never called Trump out by name, his subtweeting was sharp. We see the, the utter loss of shame among political leaders where they're caught in a lie, and they just double down and they lie some more. It used to... Look, let me say, politicians have always lied. But it used to be if you caught them lying, they'd be like, oh, man. <laughs> now they just keep on lying. Isn't it amazing that Trump is such a big liar that you don't even have to mention his name and everyone knows who you're talking about? <laughs> even in Africa, you're like, liar! And they're like, Trump! Trump! <laughs> Trump! But beyond, beyond his political commentary, Obama's main purpose in South Africa was to pay tribute to Nelson Mandela. Madiba's light shone so brightly, even from that narrow Robben Island cell, that in the late 70s, he could inspire a young college student on the other side of the world. Mandela said, Young people are capable, when aroused, of bringing down the towers of oppression and raising the banners of freedom. Now's a good time to be aroused. Yeah. Wow. This is, uh... This is probably the only thing that Trump and Obama agree on. <laughs> yeah, Trump's like, you're so right, Barack, there's never a bad time to be aroused. <laughs> He's like, uh, that's not what I meant. He's like, too late. Dunn Jr.'s out already, baby. 